Good morning, folks. We have plasma filaments and big sunspots on the disc, but yet things are calm. Activity building on the limbs, but nothing in Earth's direction. We find ropes snapping, dancing, arching, diving, filaments incoming, and umbral plasma sliding around the magnetic fields. Thus far, we haven't seen big eruptions, but CMEs are definitely possible today. And as I alluded before, it's not just the filaments, but the sunspots. We're at spaceweathernews.com to find the solar flaring still in low C range. Let's look at the spots. Down south, we see a large grouping that is actually simplified into a spread beta group with no interest in mixing things up just as of yet. Incoming, we appear to have an even larger sunspot area, and this one appears to have the magnetic complexity needed, just no follow through at this time. Solar wind, a bit steady still faster than average speed, and then some density spikes this morning which weren't enough to set Earth's shield on its heels, but the electron flux was erased as the protons came in and were having magnetic pulsation events here at Earth. Current coronal hole is red negative from the southern polar opening, but the blue coronal fields block it completely, so we're looking to the next one, a positive opening behind it as the next majorly geoeffective coronal hole. You can see it on the left side coming in here in 211 angstroms. Notice that you cannot make out the earth-facing opening due to those closed coronal fields. Last space weather news is another gamma ray burst late last night came out of Indus. Website members who remember the earth spot nuances see the convergence hitting land here and the earthquake directly beneath the storm line. We also saw the USGS upgrade yesterday's 5.9 in Fiji to 6.0, and we have an above average tremor in Western Canada for the second day in a row. Top news. So after telling us day after day to wait until June 16th or 17th for word of the satellite re-entry, it came in the night of the 15th with little warning and absolutely no one around to see it. Story over. Let's get an ice update to find Antarctica dip below the record high levels and now sporting only the second highest ice extent on record. Meanwhile, the north has a melting stall and is now at higher marks than it was in most of the last decade. Last but not least, this is a bit graphic, folks. Extreme weather in China drowned 16,000 pigs, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Terrible. Carlos is still screwing around down near Baja, but Bill got his act together and charged the shore yesterday. The track will be very interesting as it comes up and through the states here. But meanwhile, the heat and moisture flow up through the same area continues and will bring inclement weather from the east coast all the way through to the upper Midwest. Big alert area tonight. Europe has a southern low at the Mediterranean, and that same one up north hugging Iceland but bending a convergence out and around to Scandinavia and the UK. Those two systems control the cloud lines, cloud pops, storms, rain, and flooding. Down under, we see the low offshore to the west with convergence cresting near Perth already, while a strong convergence has developed to the east overnight. No surprises when we jump to the clouds on satellite here. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.